Do you know the difference between a rule and an universal law? A rule is something that changes from country to country and from year to year and is invented by human beings. That means clearly rules and constitutional laws are changeable and flexible inventions. So what is now about universal laws? Think twice. What is about gravity? Gravity is not fiction. But what is about the rotation of the earth? And the movements of the planets like sunrise and sunset, all of those mentioned above are universal happenings that are controlled by the power and the wisdom of the universal laws. And if you take just one piece out of the equation of how the world runs its seasons or how the life is running, the processes of its nature, this whole balance would break down and there would be no life no world. All right, like you have probably realized in the meantime, universal laws are unchangeable. They are the base of every life and they are the base of everything in our lives, of everything. And now we can talk of one of the most interesting universal laws, the law of attraction. For sure you heard sometime something about cause and effect. Like you let fall a bottle of milk as a cows and the effect, the bottle hits the ground and the milk is all over the floor. Okay, this principle of physics, cause and effect, is known and understood by everyone. Then we can go further. Now two examples that will make you realize how the universal law, the law of attraction works. Example A. You are sitting in front of your TV and you want to watch channel 3, but you are watching channel 9. This problem is not really hard to solve, right? You are just switching to channel 3 and there it is. You can enjoy channel 3. What happens on the frequency level? Both channels were available at the same time because the broadcaster were sending both of the two channel frequencies to your home. And to experience the channel 3 instead of channel 9, you had to change the frequency of your TV to the same frequency of channel 9. Because this is the functional connection. Sender and receiver have to be on the same level. In total frequency harmony. In terms of law of attraction, this is defined as like attracts likes. Sender and receiver have to be in total frequency harmony. Let us look at the second example. This is very similar to the first one. Listening to the radio. You can switch and dial to every radio channel that is broadcasting signal frequencies in your area. But in order to listen clearly to one channel, you have to set the frequency of the radio again on perfect level balance with the frequency of the channel's broadcasting frequency, like 93.6 MHz, exact to 93.6 MHz. Here we have it again. Like attracts like. It's perfectly working as always. One more additional example. When you want to drive a cycle, then you have only one exact way to complete the cycle when you once start driving it because the ankles equals exactly the frequency a cycle has exact 360 degree and those 360 degree are only a cycle when the cycle is perfectly in harmony of the ankles from the start to the finish point okay one more example that is very good because everyone knows exactly how it works. You want to call someone on their mobile phone. Easy one, right? What is to do? The number that you want to call is, for example, triple one, triple three, triple seven. So your call will only successfully reach your friend's phone if you dial exactly triple one, triple three, triple seven. If you just substitute one number like 911 triple three triple seven 
you will never reach your friend. Because the frequency code that rushes through the air to reach the mobile phone you wanted to reach will never get located the right mobile phone on this world if you not dial the exact number. Because the number equals the frequency. Like the right channel settings on the radio and on the TV. All right, now you've got some examples of the universal law of the law of attraction that is defined as following. Like attracts like. And all those examples with which you are very familiar with are working exactly after this universal law, law of attraction. And now I tell you just out of a sudden because it's 100% true. You and your whole life is as well 100% running by the law of attraction. Every thought you have, every emotion and feeling you had, have and will have are invisible frequencies. And those frequencies get only real for you when you get aware of them. That is the same like with the TV. You can only experience the channels when you turn the TV on and the broadcasting frequencies get shown on the screen of the TV. Only then are getting the channels really real for you. But the frequencies of the channels are as well always there if you are watching TV or if you are not. There is only one difference. You put on the right settings to be in harmony with the frequencies in order that you can watch that certain channel on your TV. All right, back to your reality. The creation of your reality, your thoughts, feelings and emotion, your life, your reality is reflecting your frequency. Look, reality is called by purpose reality and not reality. It is reality, like reflecting, review it, reconsider, relive or reload it. It is reality. The reality is reflecting your frequency, like the TV is reflecting the frequency of the broadcasting channel on the screen of your TV. So let me now tell you shortly the secrets of all secrets. The frequencies you are sending and emitting are creating your reality, period. Look at this picture. Through this picture, you can realize that our life is controlled by frequencies that are invisible to us. That means clearly, everything that you can see is a product of an invisible frequency. Therefore, we come back to our own frequencies that are as well invisible, but 100% reality creating. Our thoughts, our feelings, and our emotions. To give you a visible impression, I will show you some pictures. Take this in measure. Our brain is generating more electrical impulses in one day than all phones in the world combined. If the whole world is communicating successful with their phones, what do you think how successful and how powerful the brain is communicating with your reality? Do you see the power of the brain as the picture is exposing it? It is sending and receiving frequencies, informations with trillions of synapses. But not only the power of your brain is phenomenal. Phenomenal are as well the cells of our bodies. And if that were not powerful enough, let us take a look at the highly powerful atoms that our body owns. This number of atoms in a human single cell is unbelievable. And so is the unbelievable power they have. And now imagine, if you use all the power of the atoms 
in your cells to your benefit of reality creating. So until now, you got a glimpse of how powerful the brain is. But now, if you are talking about frequencies and how frequencies are creating our reality, you should know something about the human heart. Every beat of your heart is sending an electric magnetic impulse all around the world. To the final, we combine all this new wisdom and will give you the key of the door to your power of creating your reality. The following picture opens up for you the level of frequencies, vibrations defined by emotions. Because your vibration, your frequencies that you are sending are getting sensed by yourself and called emotions. You can see on the vibrational scale that shame is on the last spot and joy, peace and enlightenment on the top. How you apply it, the higher emotions are getting on the vibrational scale, the more is the law of attraction working positive for you. The lower you are vibrating, the more struggle and problems you will have. As we stated it above, physics says every cause has an effect and the universe says with the universal law of the law of attraction that every effect is caused by your vibration and the law of attraction. Here it comes. If you really get this, if you really understand this, then you have realized that nothing in your life is more important than to vibrate on a high level. Because every situation and every second of your reality is created by your frequencies and the law of attraction. There is one rule. Feel as good as you can, period. Feel good and feel better, hour by hour and day by day. Yes, for sure, you have to work on it and practice it. And yes, for sure, you have to change some things in your life. But what you cannot change are the universal laws. You can use them for your dream life and every benefit you want. Or you do not care about it and your reality will stay the same or gets worse. What is better? That is no question, right? Things that are raising your vibration. Number one, good feelings and happy actions all day long. Number two, eating and drinking healthy and doing healthy exercises. Number three, having a good feeling environment always. Only people, friends, and the companionship that makes you feel good, healthy, happy, and inspired are allowed to surround you. Number four, remember daily how precious life is, how precious you are, and what makes you feel inspired, happy, and blessed. Hold that appreciation deep inside and feel it all around your body. These feelings are your emotions, your precious, powerful, reality-creating frequencies, vibrations. Some last very important words that I want to tell you. If you want to have joy, love, health, success, and what people call luck, what is actually the experience of having a very good vibration, then you have to take this wisdom and the four vibration razors. More important than anything else in your life because law of attraction is the cause of every happening situation and quality in and of your life. Be that serious about it that you keep the four vibration razors as that much in check as your daily water or bite to eat. The better you feel and you are keep raising your good and blessed feelings, the better is everything working by law. The more success, the more luck, the more love, and the more health you will have. Everything gets like a joyful ride and on this way, you are really getting everything you want. Just act on the four vibration razor more serious than on anything else in your life.